that's already started so what i wanted to tell you about now i kept thinking that i will actually perfect it perfect it and the problem that happened was i don't think this is ever going to be perfected so uh, i'm just going to tell you what's in the works right now uh, on my birthday i thought I, sh I should give myself a treat so i built a 400 dollar system about 400 dollar system and it has these 3200 g the cheapest cpu that i could find that was on the am4 platform in my country then okay and i was like let's see how well it performs what happened later was uh, as you know my laptop died and when that laptop died i had to use that system okay i had to fall back and i actually had to use that system uh, i mean and i had no choice okay i, I still remember that post and i i started <laughs> i was playing a lot of hell divers back then so yeah this is me <laughs> three weeks ago democracy won't stop just because of a deadly i was playing on 20 fps but i was playing on that system i was doing all my work on the system and i was surprised how much it could handle now my laptop got fixed the company replaced the motherboard it's working pretty fine now and uh the monitor that i got with that system okay you, you remember this monitor that i got with that system not a recommended one just something to tell you about so i liked working on the monitor so much you know earlier i used to work on the laptop it and when you are you know typing 3000 words a day going through all the messages working all the time it becomes a hassle okay and i really liked a big 23 inch even though this is just 1080p i really liked a big display okay so what i did was i actually stuck uh, i kept the monitor with me and now that system which i sh showed you now that system is without a display so what i did in temporary i just put that in the i just uh, connected that system to my home uh, the tv okay my tv I, I only buy tvs that have a lot of hdmi ports so i connected it to them and tried using it as a movie try it was not really happening however there is something else that i was working on and it's better if i just show you immediately now uh, i said i will make a tutorial on this i didn't actually get the time so this is moonlight you can directly remote into pc but i think this one is a lot better if you have the windows 10 pro so this is that system okay if you can see this is the other system and i have remote into it it's in the other room uh, they are all just connected to the same room and the first thing that it helped me with the first thing that it helped me with was cctv so in my home i have a lot of cctv IPT, ip cameras okay and since i had that iptv cameras and i have an old hp machine on which i just open this software of this exact one security monitor pro i enable all the four cameras and this is the default it just that's all the purpose of that old laptop is my old laptop that's all its purpose I, maybe i can even show you that also uh, decade using a decade old laptop you can see okay that's the that video i will show you so th that was actually live stream from that lap from that laptop itself so i even played spider-man on it uh, the original one the proper one okay so that's the old laptop that i have been using and th that j laptop's only job it was to show uh, the security cameras and that's it that's all yeah as you can say i showed it in the end here that time i only had three cameras right now i have upgraded to four cameras and i haven't even checked it but yeah uh, all these cameras either are 1080p or 1440p okay now what happened was when i this is tapo if i try to connect to the cameras uh, from multiple devices okay uh, from internet or any other place if i try to connect to them what happens is uh, it gives an error okay the uh, uh, when you try to connect with many devices through the tapo app i am talking about the tapo camera it gives an error that a lot of devices are connected so it so it won't work okay and uh, someone who is not at this place someone who is outside 
uh, they were having trouble connecting to it because on the home uh, one PC and a lot of uh, systems were actually using it so what I did was I downloaded agent DVR so this is the let me show you agent DVR so what's that's not the original name I spy so this is the open source cap security camera okay if you are using it uh, you know for personal use it's free so I just installed the server you can see it running right here and if I click on it I have four cameras two of them are 1440p okay I think three of them are 1440p and one of them is 1080p you can see this camera and it's being connected it's being uh, you know I can a, locally I can check that through as many devices as I want as long as the CPU usage doesn't go high okay now you will see the agent here right now i have connected it to a tablet maybe i can show you i don't know how i can show it to you anymore i do not have a flexible camera i think i can maybe i can hold it hold. it's been quite a while but i think i can shouldn't be hard to set up Can you see it now? Medium, medium, medium. Yeah, it is showing there. What's happened here? Why is it not here? Uh, show up, show up, show up, show up, show up. One second. One second. Hmm. I can see it here. Why can't I see it there? You know what? Let's just see. Just see it like this. Okay. Uh, so this is my tablet, as you can see, and this is connected to the same now. Agent DVR application. It's available for a lot of applications so it is connected via the agent DVR application if i click on it okay that's connected there that's one device uh the others the earlier system let me show that to you also I am unsure if you saw that or not but the point is the point is point is that currently two devices are connected okay and if I try to connect you like and all these streams okay on uh, when I am seeing through these devices all the stream are high quality streams okay and if I enlarge the pictures it's still pretty good okay the stream are 1440p and 1080p's if I uh, how do I know that on the 4k on the same system that it, it's connected to uh, if I enable uh, that's 4k TV so if I open this UI there also even there it shows in 4k and it's pretty clear that it's 4k okay uh, now if I try to do a lot I have put this CPU limit it is now uh, that was one thing that I am doing the second thing that I am doing is I am just using as as a normal uh, archive storage okay so I have just uh, connect um, I open the system up I put in all the old hard drive and SSD that I could find on it inside okay and what I do I just move archive videos the videos that I have already work on I just move it there so that is second thing I'm using I'm also using it to watch movies and TV show if I want to however yeah on that part uh, uh, one more thing agent ui 
the DVR application, it was very easy to set up as well. Hardly any trouble at all. Okay. Hardly any trouble. It was very easy. And same with Jellyfin. Jellyfin was also very, very easy to set up. Now, Jellyfin is a media server. I really thought I would use it a lot. Okay. The problem is, uh, I would say the main problem is that the Wi-Fi range isn't that good. Okay. In the home, every, every place. So when I ever try to do this, when I ever try to play this, if I am sitting at one place, that's fine. But if I am not, it becomes a problem. So this is at least underway. This is, I don't know if it's successful or not. It is good in playing 4K movies. So my web OS to be, I already jail, jail broke it. And uh, it's, it, all, it already has Jellyfin directly. Web OS is not supported on uh, this web host tv directly jellyfin is not supported and but i have been using uh, not as much sometimes i use uh, jellyfin so this is still underway i thought i would use this a lot but i am not using it as much but uh, agent ui yes i am using that a lot. all we do is just open up the system and let it be okay every day this it's just open there okay and that's that's all i wanted to say that's all i wanted to tell you uh difference between i just actually started this remote desktop connection i before this i have i had only been using moonlight okay before this where is moonlight before this i had only been using moonlight mainly because i was actually playing games okay from the laptop to the system or the from system to the laptop or PC or the uh, same. Uh, yeah, if you jailbreak your web OS TV, you also get the. Yes, yeah, now it, it won't open because the TV is off. <laughs> and that's the problem. Because it's not actually connected to an HDMI port, that won't open. But I think I can still remote into the laptop. Okay. Uh, I don't think it will connect. You want to know why? Because it requires a password and my habit is to just open up the laptop okay open up the lap open up the just press the power button and just run it so i don't put any password i temporarily remove the added a password just to show this but yeah that that's it that's it that's it. quite a few things here okay i really wanted to talk more about this but uh it's better it's better if i do a bit more research before